Welcome back for you again some more Europa Universalis 4 with the Art of War DLC and the Vertas at 4202.0.3 mod. So, welcome back. I do hope you have had a good weekend. Of course, here in the Netherlands we had King's Day and King's Night. So, um, that is the reason why yesterday there was no episode because I was like, uh, on last Monday, I recorded seven episodes and in my head I figured a week was had six days and then you know with seven episodes yeah so that is why um yesterday so monday the 27th did not have an episode but that's basically because i took a day off and well i'll do those things just okay just in case uh anyway last time we are still playing as a mako and we are doing it quite well i would say um we are almost or well most certainly the most the 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 dominant force in Japan and we are on our way to unite Japan. That is why the series is called For Japan, you know, in order to unite Japan. If you know Japan, Japan is already a nation, that does not matter. We will unite Japan and we will create Japan. And from then, from there on, we will uh, move forward. Anyway, um, I've had some comments. Uh, I did not respond to them just yet, uh, but I did read them. Uh, for instance, someone was... Uh, Someone was telling me that I um, hopefully Juan will just go uh, go its own own way and uh, become a couple of um, nations. So it's most likely Ming, Juan, and Man Man Manchu. And I do believe that event happens in 3060, 1360. So that might happen. And uh, someone suggested that we otherwise go for Taiwan, or we could go for the Americanas or America. Um, however, I do believe the time, or we can only do that with the, um, of course, with the colonization, uh, the colonists, yeah, and for that one to work as well, we need to cross quite a lot of sea, so who knows who will be first in, uh, in America, uh, perhaps the Europeans, they usually do, I believe, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if the, uh, the distance between Europe and America is the same as Asia and America, or similar i would hope so simply said um also uh in 1960 or, or 3060 whenever uh you know uh juan gets a huge revolution and the ming uh, nation starts to form korea is released from its um, vessel ship and then we could also go try to get korea however that would mean that we get a border with the chinese powers which is a problem not per se a hundred percent problem because i am they are more likely to uh cross a land border rather than a sea border but uh, you know we'll we'll see <laughs> there we go um so we'll just uh, start playing a little bit and um our uh, our ally oda is at war with a couple of nations so he's at war with the hattori the chasukabe and the kizo and that means that we could go for the chasukabe nation if we so desired so um, let's uh, let oda be um we can show superiority oh, uh, oh we are actually having a truce with them let's uh, not do that in that case because um aggressive expansion is something we have managed to uh, keep down for now. Um, so that basically means that we are looking for another target to kill. Um, okay. And their war just ended as well, I believe. No, they didn't, but... Oh well. Um, is there anything else? We also have managed to get this territory and we have the uh, Gazabelli for sh for Itzen. Uh, let's see. That could actually become an interesting war. Let's see. With whom are you all allied? So we've got a six stack against a five stack, and some of my allies, one of the allies, wanted to join, and that would be Sagara, I believe. So let's see. Do we have a proper general? No, we can actually increase um, our army. Let's see, we are effective at 35%. Sure. Let's create another unit of infantry. 
and we could. Hmm. Okay, he actually is getting uh, some of his uh, alliances uh, working right now. So what we should do is get at least one other alliance. Hopefully, someone something that counters uh, the Heisen. And uh, that will be you, Otomo. However, you do despise us a lot. Have you already managed to increase your improved relations at 85? And the most hurtful thing is refuse to join the war, disarm alliance. Okay, that's that's gonna sting for quite some time. I'm sorry about that. Um, Oda, you are still at war. However, we have. Hmm, you do not like me either, because we have cast Bella against you. Mm. Finding a good uh, alliance is a little bit tough right now. Perhaps you, you are allied to Heason, and you despise me, because of course you do. And Sogo is also allied to, and I suppose, well, everybody seems to like really dis distrust us, at least a bit. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, is there another big nation who might want to join our cause? And who is not an enemy of our ally, I suppose. Yeah, this is a two, two island nation and we hate us not that much. We, You are allied to our ally, which is good. And then we can just start improving relationships because we will have uh, friendship. Okay, and we cannot have. Okay, we cannot have a, a relationship without getting a penalty. Um, so we'll just increase relations uh, for now. Hopefully, one of these uh, stupid uh, royal marriages dies off, and then we should be good. Uh, okay, levying additional taxes. Uh, money is good for now. Okay, and well, this, not with Oda, of course. That will be stupid. And if you could. Send us the invite instead of we to you. That would be nice as well. Okay, provincial administration. Um, should we accelerate the works? I suppose we should. Just because we uh, we want to integrate and get that um, get that re relationship uh, slot opened. Okay. What what we primarily would want is to just join in on an already happening war, so we could just yeah swoop in for the kill, which is basically uh, the best way of uh, of doing it. Anyway, um, non enforcement of ordinances. Monarchs rule by issuing ordinances, uh, but they were almost powerless to enforce them. Enforcement depends depended upon the local powers, noble city governments, that would not always be as vigilant as the monarchs would have desired. Okay, so let them handle it. Increase uh, autonomy or in increase attempts. Yeah, sure. We've got plenty of attempts. Why not? Mm. Yeah, we are not yet... Um we do not have uh, enough money to get advisors, so I'm not really tempted to get uh, the idea groups going just yet. Unless, um, let's see, technologies, how long, how much do we need? 849, that's quite a lot for what we would gain. Same goes for the military technology. Yeah. Okay, we will get the... Um, which one's always the correct one? Because I don't really believe in uh, quality and quantity ideas. Um, I suppose I want, I would want the uh, standing army one. Um, United Japan, no information. I want, where is it? Uh, I would like the technology tree, sure. Ah, there it is, oh, my bad. Um, I would want the standing army, grand vehicle, logistics, culture, innovation. 
Okay, so it is must have either quality, quantity, cavalry, or infantry. Okay, so uh, we would need to uh, choose one of those. You know what? Let's go for quantity for once because we always go with qu quality, even though quality is not really that um, good anyway. And quantity would give us regiment cost reduction, ship costs and, uh, reduction, national manpower modifier, force limit modifier. Yeah, I, I, I would think that would be very helpful. Even though we do get the pop up that uh, people are laughing at our size instead of our capability. But I suppose uh, that doesn't really matter that much. I uh, mean, prestige is always. If you roll over people, then it doesn't really matter. Okay, and now I really want to become your friend because you just took another. Yeah, you just took another uh, thingy. Um, nation. And for some reason you hate us because we are hostile toward one another. That is not true. <laughs> of course we're not hostile. You fool. I should slap you for that. Um, Land, local unrest, missionary strength, manpower, recruitment time, dockyards. Mm. Yeah. And our navy is not doing anything. That's also bad. Go for Japan. Thank you. And you just started a war with whom... Ooh, you did not just help me get that territory, did you? Declare war. We actually already have a Casus Belli. Let's see. Against whom will we be fighting? Because let's return. Declare war. Take capital. And we will be fighting them. They are one and... Then they are next to one another. What are you fighting for? You are fighting for... Conquest of Kitkab. Not that nation. Excellent. Um, we've got plenty of money in the bank. We have... Well, I would say that we only need to take this one. We've got plenty of enemies, friend. So uh, No one seems to want to join us. That doesn't really matter. Does it matter that we go against them. I would say this is quite a safe bet for one nice territory, so thank you. Especially if you hold their armies at bay. Um, yeah, it's a 5 stack against a 5 stack. And mine is already in place and I already uh, also get like a 1 dude. Uh, you will be supportive. Oh, go for the aggressive stance. If you can, you should go for it. Then our army should help us blockade. How many ships are we looking at? Zero. Excellent. This should be a cakewalk. A very simple cakewalk. With cake and a walk. <laughs> and you know a wall is going just fantastic when you even make money during a wall. It's just especially like... With such a small nation. Um, if we look at the province, it's a uh, it's a two uh, base cost province or tax um, tax based province. So it's not the best, but it's not not the worst either. So okay, and could we, if we wanted to, move forward? Because who are our enemies? So we've got like three nations. We can move through Oda if you want to do, and we can... Ah, uh, well. So, bartering increases. Well, the poor state of Amako currently is... Uh, currency is becoming even more troubling for us. The common people have started to look to other solutions. Many are growing wary uh, of the use of money and avoid in it whenever possible, reverting to all means of trade like the barter system. Perhaps their concerns are misplaced, but if we do not do X50, we may lose our grip on the economy and country itself. Not, uh, not a good thing that happens. Uh, so let us hope that uh, this works well for them. If we get the problem under control, seek the advice of our best economists to stop it. So lose 100 administrative power, lose the bartering issue, and reduce inflation. Yes, please. So for 100 administrative points. Sure. Our best economist is at, at works. <laughs> that uh, sounds reassuring. Um, yeah, this war is almost over, I hope. 
And then we are neighboring with the Hatakijama, which could be bad, but we could also take out Saito if we wanted to. Unless we are... No, we are not friends. How many friends do you have? Ooh, quite a lot. That is not nice. Um, we could also start growing into Kiso. Kiso, which has also quite a lot of friends. And we could go... Ooh, I think we go against... Sogo next. Especially if they have their army based here. That would be quite nice. Sort of. Okay, we have now won this little province. And I ask you, Kiso, that we pass through your border so we may crush the enemy. Right, okay, we've good news. They've accepted. Crush. So that's the only two stack there is alive. <laughs> and we. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Um, for some reason we have too many. Six out of five. Oh, of course we do. Kill, kill, kill. There we go. Completely wiped it. So you will pay money. No, this is basically a I take all your shit kind of deal. But I don't, I don't take your shit anymore. But I'll still take your shit, you know. Oh well. I think we are uh, on a on a on a good uh, strife strife here. I mean, there's no real need to get. Uh, there's no real need to really besiege everything. So um, okay, so sale of titles, my lord. One of our, your advisors has, has suggested selling of titles for of nobility to to anyone who can afford to pay. It would bring a, uh, in lots of money if we do, but if we uh, if it but it would devalue the idea of nobility and perhaps upset the existing aristocratic families. Should we do this? So, is 12.65 ducats a lot of money? Mm, it's 10% of what we are making. Um, or nobility cannot be bought, which will increase national stability. Ha! Huh. So, 12 ducats or stability? Stability. Especially because we, because we have a new monarch, so it would always be nice to uh, get that. Uh, become shogun, no. And the Bushi code um so have army a tra tradition of at least 25 percent really do you get um hold on army tradition it's uh, I, f I think we can get that one if we um yeah i think we can actually get that one or at least we should try so army tradition of 25 that would be nice um and we have improved as far as we could excellent yeah i think we just uh go back the way we came wait you we have hold on did you just uh yeah sorry we we did it's a bit of the increase thank you fuck you 12 ducats <laughs> no need no real need okay let's just wait here for him to make a, a one army and we'll just Nip it in the butt again, just for the score. Three, two, oh, you already... Uh, I don't want money, I want a province. The province will make me plenty of money. Come on, come on, you can do it. There we are. And one, two. We now just, please, oh well. I think we'll, I think we do have to just besiege it down. Okay, cancel military access. Okay, um, you on the other hand, are we less hostile to one another? No, we are not, so we've lost this alliance thing, my barber. Are we still fighting an army? No, we are not, okay. It would be nice if you could just, you know, very simply just <laughs> end this war. I mean, there's no real need to uh, continue. And Oda wants... Yes, we want that too. Right. Could you otherwise just perhaps ask you to just kindly fuck off? Hold it. Declare war. On who? No, not on Kiso. On you. So, so for peace. No, you would not. And of course, they always have a counter offer to make clear offer. And off we go. So for some reason they probably think this war has not really gone on for quite some 
time. Uh, no, you're still offering money. Do not care for money. I come, in, I come on, is this like, you know, the Japanese way of invading? Oh, well. <laughs> um, this has been, or oh, this is the end of this episode. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching, as always, you know. Uh, please do leave a comment down below. I do read them. I don't really respond to them just yet. Um, just, you know, school and holidays and shit gets in the way. So, um, <laughs> thanks for watching and uh, 